Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is demonstrate how we can further customize 1CNC. So what we'll do in this video is take a look at setting up hotkeys as well as customization. Let's start with hotkeys. To set up a hotkey, take your cursor, move it up to the top of the screen and grab View, and then Customize. Once you do that, you're going to get the Quick Access dialog box. Now over here on the left hand side of the dialog box are all the commands that you can assign hotkeys to. I'm going to come down here to the Modify section. I'm going to grab the Alter command by just left clicking on that. And then down here for the hotkey, I'm going to type in the letter A and then click Assign. And that's it. Now when I hit the letter A, 1CNC will execute the Alter command. Let's do that again. I'm going to come down to the Selection area. There we go. I'm going to grab Deselect by left clicking on that. I'm going to come down and left click inside the field here. Type in the letter D and then left click on Assign. That looks great. So let's click OK and let's test this now. I'm going to create an arc. I'm going to place that right at the datum. That looks good. Now let's test our Alter command. I'm going to hit the letter A on the keyboard. That's our first hotkey. And now I can go in. I can change the diameter if I'd like. Or I can change the location of the arc as well. Very, very easy. So that worked great. Let's test our Deselect command. So I'm going to grab the geometry so you can see it's selected. It turned red there. Now I'm going to hit our new hotkey, which is the letter D. And once I hit D, sure enough, it becomes deselected. So all that worked great. Now let's take a look at some other customization that can be done. To do that, hit File up at the top of the screen, and then select Properties. Now there's lots of things in here that you can change, and I don't have time to show you all these, but let me show you a few that you may be interested in. For example, Units. You might want to change between Imperial or Metric. This is where that's done. Also, you have control over your autosave. Now, I have mine turned off, but if you have autosave turned on, you can also specify in minutes how often one CNC will save your drawing. So I'm going to put mine back to off. Another thing that I typically come in and take a look at is the image quality. Now, depending on your graphics card, this might not make much difference at all, but you do have the ability to change the quality of the graphics card. I've got this changed all the way up to quality. If you select colors, you can assign colors to different parts of the viewing screen here. In fact, for um, as a demonstration, let's come down here to the drawing background. We use a gradient for that. You can see it kind of gradiates from a tan color to white at the bottom. Uh, let's come up to the drawing background, and for this example, why don't we make it? Oh, why don't we make it a blue color for that? And why don't we change this to kind of a gray color, just as an example? So we'll click OK. And sure enough, you can see there's the gradient that's been changed. I'm going to put that back. So I'm going to head back to File. We'll go back into Properties. And we'll head right into our Colors, which is right here. And I'm just going to click Reset All Colors and then click OK. All right. Thanks so much for watching. We gave you just some quick tips there in regards to setting up some hotkeys, as well as further customizing one CNC. Thanks again. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.